In this video, we're going to use uh, the method of partial fractions to integrate uh, expressions whose form are shown uh, is shown by the integrals that we have here. Um, these integrals um, are rational functions, so that means uh, they are one polynomial divided by another polynomial. They are proper for this video, um, which means the numerator has got a degree distinctly lower than the degree of the denominator. So like this one is uh, linear, this is quadratic. Here the numerator is quadratic and the denominator is cubic. The denominators as well can be factorized into linear distinct factors uh, so that's what we're going to focus on for this video um, so the the features uh, that uh, uh, the function is rational and the denominator can be factorized uh, that's generally going to be the hallmark of a function that can be integrated using um, partial fractions if the denominator cannot be factorized or if function is not a polynomial divided by another polynomial uh, then typically we cannot use the method of partial fractions so in this case um, we're going to decompose the function this one, this one for instance into partial fractions and uh, each factor, because remember we've got linear distinct factors, each factor is going to result in a partial fraction of uh, its own. All right. So let's uh, start off with uh, number one. So in number one, we have got uh, 4x plus 13 divided by 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take uh, uh, out this uh, rational expression here. So remember the denominator must be factorable. So the first thing we're going to do is to factorize that denominator. So that means here you might want to freshen up your skills of uh, factorizing quadratics for starters um, we have got a video that's going to help you with that we're going to post the link uh, just uh, now um, and then um, that should be good enough um, for, for for this problem here um, after that if you master factorizing quadratics then for cubics you might need uh, what we call the rational root theorem so anyway, for this one, it's going to factorize to 2x minus 1 times x plus 2. Okay, so those are our two partial fractions. So what we can do now is we can write this uh, in uh, or resolve it into partial fractions as uh, follows. So um, 2x minus 1 it's going to give us one partial fraction and uh, x plus 2 is going to give us another partial fraction okay so a and b are numbers that we need to find uh, which we're going to show in a moment so and so the way we find a and b is we're going to start by um, sort of uh, removing the um, fractions okay so we clear the fractions by multiplying everything by the denominator on the left hand side um, so we multiply by uh, 2x minus 1 into x plus 2 all right so let's just show you what's going to happen when we do that so we've got 4x plus 13 here 
over 2x minus 1 into x plus 2. Mm, we've got a over 2x minus 1. We've got b into x plus 2. So we're going to multiply both sides uh, by this term here, which is basically that term. So let's do this. Uh, using this color here so if you multiply everything here by 2x minus 1 x plus 2 multiply everything here 2x minus 1 x plus 2 okay so on the left hand side uh, this whole denominator is going to cancel out. So we're going to end up with just the numerator 4x plus 13. Then on the right hand side, for the first term, um, 2x minus 1 is going to cancel out. And then we're just going to be left with x plus 2. So that's going to give us a into x plus 2 and then for the second term x plus 2 is going to cancel out we're going to be left with 2x minus 1 so that's what we're going to have after clearing the fractions now um, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the roots of uh, the denominator um, so this denominator has got roots associated with each of the factors. Uh, for instance, for the factor 2x minus 1, the associated root is uh, 1 half. This is obtained by taking 2x minus 1 equating to 0 and then solving. So that's going to give us x equals to 1 half. This one, the root is going to be x equals to negative 2. So, if we plug in x equals to 1 half in uh, this equation, which uh, we've uh, just cleared the fractions with, so on the left-hand side, we're going to have uh, 4 times half is 2 plus 13, so that's going to be 15. Uh, this one um, is going to be 1 half plus 2, so it's 2 and a half, so that's 5 halves times a. And then if you plug in 1 half here, this term is going to vanish because uh, it's going to be 1 minus 1. So this tells us that a is going to be equal to 30 over 5, a is going to be equal to 6. Then if we plug in negative 2, uh, on the left-hand side, we're going to have uh, negative 8 here. 13 minus 8 is 5. Then this term is going to be 0. This one is going to be negative 4 minus 1, which is negative 5. So this tells us that B is going to be equal to negative 1. So what we're going to do now is we are going to plug in 6 here and we're going to plug in negative 1 here and so that way we, we will have expressed uh, this compound fraction in terms of uh, partial fractions there and then these partial fractions will be uh, easier will be easier to integrate. So if we go back to our integral, call this thing i, then what it means is that we can write i as follows. So i is going to be the integral of uh, a is 6. So we're plugging in 6 here. So we're going to have 6 over 2x minus 1. B is negative 1, so it's going to be minus 1 over x plus 2 dx. 
uh, then we can write this as two integrals so if we factor out the six there so that's just going to be integral of dx on 2x minus 1 this one is going to be the integral of dx on x plus 2 okay now there's a formula that we're going to need here uh, frequently so let's just write it out so this is the formula of the integral of uh, the reciprocal of a linear function ax plus b so this is going to integrate to the lean of uh, magnitude of ax plus b divided by a so the main thing here is that we always divide by the coefficient of x here you can actually uh, differentiate this and uh, confirm that it gives 1 over ax plus b so that means in our example here if you look at uh, this function for instance a is 2 here a is 1 there so that means our i is going to be 6 okay lean 2x minus 1 then we have to divide by 2 minus lean of x plus 2 all plus c then this is just going to be 3 times lean 2x minus 1 minus lean x plus 2 plus c okay so that brings us to the end of the first example um, we are going to um, stop this video here and uh, continue with uh, example b in part two of this series thank you for watching uh, hopefully it is useful please do not forget to subscribe and uh, meet you in the next video